Um, Alex thinks that if I can hypothetically sing, that Disney will pick me up. I've been staring at the edge of the water as long as I can remember. Never really knowing why. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water. last song is also intoxicated. Seventy unusual morning lineup. Starting the chores and sweep till the floor's all clean. Polish and wax, do laundry and mop and shine up. Sweep again and by then it's like 7.15. And so I'll read a book or maybe two or three. I'll add a fair new pain. Tinks to my gallery. I'll play guitar and cooking basically just wandering when will my life begin and i'll keep wandering and wandering and wandering and wandering when will my life begin disney if you hypothetically wanted to take me i would let you take me so as you guys know i'm finally moving because someone leaked my address and if you were wondering it's currently 9 p.m and this is what i'm dealing with I'm moving tomorrow. I can't wait. Guys, guess what? It is the long-awaited moving day. So this morning I woke up bright and early to go to my favorite Vietnamese coffee shop. I got a Vietnamese latte, which is really, really good. And then I also got my movers four drinks because they asked for cafe lattes. Um, I headed over to my apartment and just reminisced on all the little cute things about my apartment. And um, this is just what it looks like before everything is just packed away. And then my movers got there right on time and fun fact about roadway movers they actually helped me move into the hype house and then they helped me move out of the hype house to huntington and now they're helping me leave the beach to go all the way near um hollywood so yeah they have been with me through quite a um long moving journey um this is them packing up everything taking down all my shelves and packing everything properly in boxes um i was like do you need help he said no just go show off your pants i was like bet so i made a little video of me showing off my pants and then i was watching them pack away all my um like clothing and laundry and stuff which is my favorite part of um them packing wardrobe and they packed everything away in the truck and this is what my apartment looks like bare she's empty she is clean though and then i locked her up for one final goodbye i really like the tall ceilings about this apartment i actually love this huntington apartment and it said my final farewells um and then i went to my new place and my roadway movers actually beat me there they unpacked everything and i haven't been to my apartment yet so i just had to follow the little um, box trails all the way to my room um and this is to new beginnings Woohoo! um so then i got um to my new apartment i was trying to help them unbox things and they said no please we don't need your help you just stand back and watch i was like bet and this is my new apartment. This boy be in my DM say I'm pretty. This boy be in my DM say I'm pretty. Guys, guess what? I am going to the Super Bowl. So my flight wasn't until the evening, so I got myself a smoothie and a breakfast burrito. I also had to get um, the AirPods with the little string still attached to them. This is all my traveling vlog footage that you guys literally don't care about. This is me at the Arizona Hotel. The next morning, I woke up bright and early, and I did my makeup and then got my outfit on and got in the Uber to head to the NFL experience. I was so excited. I got ice cream first thing, extra dairy ice cream, actually. This is Atipa. She is the reason why I'm going to the Super Bowl, which I'm so excited about. So thankful about. This is me shooting my shot at um, trying to make it in the net. I made one. I was so excited. Then I tried to make the big boy shot and I completely absolutely miss is horrifying and I started to have like my heart was racing and I was like I'm so nervous um, I was so nervous that I went to the bathroom and I realized I had pit stains I was like that's awesome and then I saw this cute little um, bedazzled chiefs helmet that I thought was so cool and then that kind of uh, that that sums up my day that oh is all gosh. I did uh, day one of Super Bowl weekend done it's currently 3 50 a.m. and I just got back from a show now I'm gonna go to bed and I have to wake up at 9 a.m. Woohoo! Is he even filming? Is it filming? Wait, wait, wait. Actually, that's a really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. Guys, I'm going to Flavor Town. It's like Coachella, but for food. I'm not a hat girl. I don't really think I look good in hats, but it's red. Oh, I love it. That tastes wild. Great day to be from Missouri. Hello and welcome. So as you guys know, I got a new apartment after a couple disasters and a few stalkers. But here we are. Today I'm going to make an attempt at setting up my guest bathroom. My boyfriend got me these flowers, so I'm gonna put them in a vase first. So cute. Okay, so this is what my bathroom looks like currently. Empty and boring. But I'm gonna be adding all of these little things. Couple of rugs. 
So I also got these cute little organizer bottles. For future reference, I am just going to get the refillable bottles. This is wasteful. So it filled to the top, so that's pleasing. Next shampoo. They are filled. Okay, now I'm gonna go attempt to set this rack in my bathroom. I don't know where this looks best. I'm just gonna shoot my shot. Oh. Cute! Okay, I'm gonna put the finishing touches on in my guest bathroom and I'll be right back. Okay, here is my cute little bathroom. Bathroom tour. Cute. Ow. Also, I didn't put those up there because apparently it needs to like hang for 24 hours, but they're down there. Restocks and- Okay, that concludes my guest bathroom, thanks. Hey guys, today is a sad day because I'm getting my last nail set. If you know, you know. But with that being said, I think I'm also getting the prettiest nail set that I've ever gotten. So come with me. He said that I'm good enough. Got him out there. Think about shit that I should enough. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me because he know that it's fat. Damn. And it what I'm really interested in is love. You might say I'm addicted to love. I wonder if all women feel that way. I grew up sheltered. I've never received a hickey. I've never given anyone a hickey. And whenever I tried to give my boyfriend a hickey, I was confused on how it worked. So whenever I latched onto him, it sounded like this. And I was embarrassed and he was embarrassed and I, I just killed the vibe. Okay, so I was just filming... Did you just fart? Sorry. So I was filming this lipstick trend with my boyfriend and I just realized this lipstick is not coming off my lips. That's what you fucking meant. <laughs> I have never felt more concrete lipstick in my whole life. Why are you giving this to me? You're cute. Thanks. Hello and welcome to my morning vlog. So today I decided that I would bring my clean girl aesthetic into my new apartment. So um, also, so today I broke my nail off and I'm really sad about it. But I can open cans now because I have one free finger, which is super exciting and cool. Um, so I headed over to my new shower and I got a hot towel, um, real little smiley face, and I did my entire skincare and uh, hair routine in the shower. And then out of nowhere, I get soap in my eye. So I'm not that aesthetic. Anyways, um, I got my little robe and I start doing my little skincare routine like this and like that and like this. And there I am just glowing and looking fabulous and i drink some of this really yummy celsius and that's all that is my clean girl aesthetic routine and this is me awkwardly coming back to the camera and ending capybara, capybara, capybara. ladies and gentlemen guess where we're going texas roadhouse three two one yay, yay! <laughs> the texas roadhouse roll Life, and that was the best food you've ever put in <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to my morning vlog. So this morning I'm going on a brunch date, which I'm super excited about. And I am picking on an outfit. It's either like the skater girl look or this girly girl look. And for the first look, I have these black Steve Madden shoes. And I'm slipping them on. No toes for you, no toes for you. And now let me just slip my sock off real quick. And then boom, no toes. Um, I have this cute little outfit and um, I like it. I feel fancy, but then I feel fancier in this outfit with these sparkly shoes. So I need your guys' help to pick out th which one. Am I going to be girly or am I going to go for like a potential skater girl vibe? Because I feel like the pigtails are screaming, wear the pants, but also I could be fancy, you know? And please help me pick out. I I'm going on a date in like two minutes. 